everybody, it's time for our list of the top 10 best cats in Magic the Gathering. That's right. Whether you like big cats or small cats, fierce cats or nice cats, there are cats in this list for you. So what are our criteria that we're judging the best cats on, Megan? Because there have been a lot of best cats in Magic. It is purely personal and subjective. Okay, great. <laughs> Cat number one, why not the first cat ever made, Savannah Lions? That's right. These lions have been around since the beginning Alpha. of time. Since Alpha. The beginning of magic time. That's a long time. That's right. It's a classic two one for one. You love this kind of cat. Yeah, this cat's great. It goes in what we call white weenie deck strategies, which try and flood the board with a lot of bunch of little creatures and then pump them up in various ways. The last time this card got a printing was Magic twenty the twenty fifth anniversary set. That's right. So you know, it's uh, it's been printed recently, but it's kind of cool it's to see classic. it still around after all of these years. It's number one because it's the most classic cat. Classic cat. If you like classic cars, try classic cats. <laughs> I would go to a classic car show, but like with classic cats instead. Yes, like a classic cat show. It'd just be a bunch of old I cats. I think that's just a cat show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cat number two is Miri, Weatherlight Duelist. So Miri's been around for a long time as well. Is one of the classic yeah. characters, one of the original crew of the Weatherlight. That's right. So how could we not put Miri onto the list? Yeah. Miri, you know, she unfortunately got stabbed. Yeah, she died. <sighs> she was cursed sad. for a while. Yeah. But uh, we have a Miri Weatherlight Duelist is one of the commanders. Uh, from the from last year's commander set that was cat themed. Cool. It was so hard to pick because there's also Arabo Roar of the World. Oh, that cat. That's very another cute. Great cat. cat. Great cat. But we included Miri from from the commander selection because she's also classic cat. Yeah. Great choice if you like to play Cat Mander. Uh, consider Miri. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> as your commander. Coming in at third are our top three favorite cats in modern. That's right. Maybe you're watching this thinking, that's cheating, and you're not wrong. But, <laughs> but guess what? We're going to do it anyway. Guess what? We're the ones making this list, yeah, so. and we lumped the cats of modern together. So that's Wild Nakatl, uh, you know, of the aggro strategies yes. of burn. Burn. Of burn zoo. fame. Zoo fame. That's right. Very uh, wild. Little three three for one, really, if you're doing it right. Absolutely. That's what you've got on the battlefield. Just pretty nice. Then there's Leon and Arbiter. Oof, the cat everybody loves to hate. That's right. For everyone who's a terrible person and wants to ghost quarter their opponent while letting them <laughs> not search for lands. There's Leon and Arbiter. I mean, why would you? But also, this cat is pretty cute and sitting yep. on a real awesome throne, so I also understand. Are you a monster, then Leon and Arbiter <laughs> is for you. And the third best cat in modern, Quasali Pride Mage, which is a fabulous sideboard card extraordinaire for lots of modern decks, including my favorite, Boggles. It doesn't run it all the time, but when it does, it is clutch. That's right. Uh, Quasali Pride Mage, you know, get rid of the most troubling artifact. Yeah. It's great. This card can uh, make or break a game a lot of the time is that it gets played. And a bunch of different versions have been printed and there's some pretty cool art for this card running around out there too. Coming in at number four is the King of Cats from Az, King of Arescos. Wow, how can we not include the King of All Cats, literally the Cat King. Look at him, he's a That's 34 right. Vigilance Cat. Also, I feel like this is the chosen cat of Cat King Craig Wesco. That is correct. He loves Bravaz. Yes. And why wouldn't you? Look at that look at that authoritative cat king. He's got a great sash. Yes. And a, a human like arm that grips. Yes. That grips. <laughs> you know, he does have opposable thumbs. It's a warning sign for us all the moment that cats get opposable thumbs, I think. We're all in deep trouble. We're done for when as, that happens. as a species. But not only is he great, he has cat friends. That's right. That he brings along with him. Yes. You know, the only thing that's keeping a lion from eating you inside your house is a doorknob. <laughs> Coming in next is Fleece Mane Lion, a 3-3 for two mana. Yes, this one was a personal choice of mine. Yeah. Because back when this came out uh, in Theros, I was still a green-white player. I had not yet found the magic mm -hmm. that is the color blue. Mm -hmm. And Fleece Mane Lion was like it where it was at. Because Can I say yeah. one thing about this card. Yeah. This cat has the best hair of any cat. The, also, this cat has beautiful golden locks. This cat has the hair I dream of. Look at that mane. <laughs> that mane could go on Rapunzel and you would not notice the difference. No, you wouldn't. 
That that cat could swap roles with Rapunzel. What's your shampoo and conditioner, Fleece Mainline? Text me. Coming in at number six is a cat so good that it got banned. Yeah, Felidar Guardian, a 1-4 for three and a white. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile another target permanent you control and return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Wow, this was a real problem yes. with Sahili. It really was. And you know what? It made the list for that reason alone. Yeah. What cat can say that it has been banned from standard? I know. This cat alone. That's like a pretty cool thing, a pretty cool feather to have, have in your cat hat, if you yes. will. I got banned. I was too good. That's right. Not to mention, look at its like weird antler things. Yeah, that's really cool. It's really great. It's like a tiger striping, except white with blue stripes. Felidar Guardian, you're just great. <laughs> Beautiful cat. Regal Caracal is up next. I love this cat. First of all, it's very fancy. Yes, look at its long pointed ears. It has long pointed ears. It has two cat friends. It's a three, three for five. Other cats you can roll get plus one, plus one and have lifelink. When it enters it, the battlefield, it creates two cat friends. It is a cat lord. Yeah, cat it's lord. It's a cat lord, which is amazing. Do you think other cats pray to Regal Caracal? Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, they, they like, as they're curling up at night, they're like, oh, Regal Caracal, may tomorrow be a great day where yeah. I hunt many things that deserve to die. <laughs> Do you know what? I have a story about my cat murdering an animal. Ooh, let's hear it. Well, we, okay. <laughs> Last week, my cat straight up murdered a rabbit. How? My cat beheaded the rabbit. That is vicious. It really is. What did your cat do with the rabbit's head? She ate it. My Gross. cat ate the rabbit's head and then brought me the rabbit's body and left it on the stoop. <laughs> there are still blood spots on the stoop. This is some godfather stuff it here. It really is. My cat reverse godfathered me. <laughs> Coming up next is a Johnny in all of his many, many majestic regal forms. All of the Johnnies you've ever wanted are uh, on our list right here. This is just a fabulous planeswalker. I personally love a Johnny so much, not only because it generally plays like in decks that I want to play, yeah. but also because it's a non-human planeswalker and I really like those. Yeah, a Leonin. A Leonin. A cat planeswalker. Also, a Johnny has like, I love his like shoulder armor. Yeah, you gotta protect that shoulder. Yeah, it, like massive bulky, bulky shoulders getting the job done. You know, you never know until you're in battle that the one piece of armor that you didn't account for was shoulder armor and then shoulder you're like, armor. dang it. Also, look at this giant axe. Like, Johnny has like a giant, sweet Cat axe. two, like I think it's two-sided. That's it's like pretty double. Sweet. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, you know, a Johnny is just the cat that so many other cats also look up to. Like a Johnny's pride mate. You know, a Johnny is... A planeswalker that I can always get behind. Johnny's never doing anything that I'm like rolling my eyes at and being like, yeah. what? what's your deal, a Johnny? Yeah. A Johnny's Unlike just always solid. Yeah, who shall not be named Jace. Okay, coming up next is half kitten, half kitten. Oh boy, this is a great cat. I yes. love this cat so much from Unstable. That's right. So we we could have gone with adorable kitten, yeah. but we chose not to. No. We chose you went through the trouble to play a ki an adorable kitten yes. and then half kitten onto that kitten. Which is the only way to play, yes. honestly, unstable. By the way, half kitten half, just FYI, yes. is really is really strong. That's right. Half kitten half kitten was great, actually. Excellent. If you can so assemble good. that. Yeah, and it's also just an adorable kitten chasing a butterfly. Oh, it is so cute. And the other half is squashing some kind of bug. That's right. No matter what, it's just a little adorable kitten, you know, doing its kitten things. Oh, what a cutie. Kitten. Speaking of completely adorable cats that are definitely not creepy at all, coming in at number 10 is, of course, Harmless Offering. This cat is Fabulous! Look at it. It's a tiny what little a cat. baby chub, but on the back of its tail is a little Eldrazi monster forming. And it also has a little like claw foot. Oh yeah, it does. Its back feet are not kitten feet. But I love it. Like you said, I love that it's just like a lovely, it's a cute little like chubby kitten, He's right? He's like, I'm fat. Like, hey, 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 I can't really catch anything because I'm just a chubby kitten, but I'm going to bite you with my snake tail. Yeah, I love this cat so much that we yeah. bought a giant version of this art to hang in our office. It is It is across from us right now. And you can see its little tongue blap. Like, yeah. Blap. Blap. Howard Lion, 
Great work on the art uh, for Harmless Offering. Wonderful. Just a classic cat. Really quality cat. Of course, we couldn't end the list at 10 because, you know, who can no. narrow it down to no. 10? So we have an honorable mention, and that is none other than Riparian Tiger. That's right. If you ever watch any of our top 10 worst rares to open in sealed, you know that we've developed something called the Riparian Tiger Test, which says in this, because, you know, we made it the first time yeah. uh, during one of the Kaladesh, Kaladesh blocks, blocks yeah. uh, which is where Riparian Tiger is from. And we're just like, do you know what? Would you rather have a Riparian Tiger yes. in your deck than this, this rare? rare? And that's the Riparian Tiger test. Yeah. So how could we leave Riparian Tiger out when it's such an important part of evaluating a sealed pool? It's really still a great test. You can do it t today. Yeah, <laughs> you can do absolutely. it with any set that comes out. And it was just a great card back in the day, too. It really was. Riparian Tiger was great. This It was a 4-4 trample Super for 5. Solid. Um, and it had the energy caveat uh, that you could pay 2 energy and give it plus plus two, plus two until end of turn, whatever it attacks. Yeah. I mean, great. Great cat. Great cat. If you think there's a cat we missed on our top 10 list, guess what? You're probably right. Tell us about it in the comments. Shout out to everyone who's going to be like Sacred Cat or Adorned Pouncer because it was really hard to cut those. Yeah, those are great cats. But we had to narrow it down. There's also some fabulous cat tokens that are created that uh, I know people are going to talk to us about. Like the um, one with the wings. The, the one with wings cat. and other kinds of cool cats that have been throughout Magic's history. So let yeah. us know in the comments what your favorite cat is and why. And be sure to answer in a complete sentence or you won't get an A. 